Welcome to the wonderful world of the affordable Tensegrity Toolkit. With this toolkit you can build all five platonic solids and much more. To start with, I'd like to explain shortly what platonic solids are. These are special geometric objects that all share specific qualities. Their faces all have the same shape. Their edges have all the same length. And in their corners, the same number of edges converge. The five platonic solids are tetrahedron, cube, and octahedron, icosahedron, and dodecahedron. The elements of the toolkit all look the same. You have a single stick with a string attached to it. If you look at it from the front, the top knot will always look to the right and the bottom one will look to the left. This is important once we start connecting sticks to each other, which always happens from the front. So this is the front of one stick, this is the front of another one, and I simply slide the stick in, in a way that the knot of the newly connected stick points towards the short end. On each string, two sticks will be connected, so there is a spot for a second one. And again, the knot of the stick that I connected points to the short end. This configuration will appear in each and every geometric object that will be built with the affordable Tensegrity toolkit. But it's hardly the way that we start, it's more the result. What we always start with is building one of the corners. And in Three out of the five objects, we have triangular, uh, we have three struts coming together in a corner. So let's make a triangle out of these. So that would be a typical starting point. We see we have three open ends which can be connected to other sticks, um, where it's important that each string is intersected so that one stick comes from the right and one from the left. Triangular corners are one way of building objects. For the octahedron, we'll have a square corner. So we simply widen the toolkit to make a little bit of a square. That would be the base structure for an octahedron. And even more is possible for the icosahedron, an object with 20 triangular faces and 12 corners where five edges converge, we need to be able to build a pentagon. The first object that I'd like to build is a cube because it's the most familiar shape of our platonic solids. It starts, as mentioned in the intro, with a corner, and the corner for the cube have three struts converging, so we'll have a triangle to start with. The second rule is that we always connect one stick from the left and one from the right, and this makes it fairly easy to build the next triangle. And we're going around one face of the cube first. And all I'm doing is following the rule that the knot of the stick that I connect points towards the short end. And there's always one stick coming from the left and from one from the right. 
The fourth corner already reuses elements from the first. And so we have a nearly complete cube. We turn the model around to make our life a little bit easier. We know we have to connect one over here. And what makes it really easy is to know oh, I connect one stick from the left, one from the right. I s connect the sticks in a way that the knot always points towards the short end of the string. So I don't really need to think too much about what I'm doing here. But I follow these simple build rules that if you follow them through, create a very symmetric following the same pattern all over again. Each of the corners should look roughly the same depending on how well you took the distances. The model might have balance on most corners and it can even collapse on all corners. The next model to be built is the octahedron. The octahedron needs 12 sticks and the corners, which are our starting point, are square. So in this case we need 4 sticks and create a square corner to begin with. As the octahedron is symmetrical, we will have exactly the same corner on the opposite part of the structure. So we build the top and the bottom corner and then connect the two, which is only one way of building it, building the octahedron. It's a fairly simple one. We know from prior builds that in each string one stick comes from the right and one from the left and the nuts of the newly connected string point towards the shorter end of the string which allows us to easily build the second stage of the octahedron. This is 8 out of 12 sticks. We'll see it gets already quite three dimensional. And we have four spare connections for the final corner. And we simply connect the final four struts in the strings of the eight sticks that we connected so far. We'll have one leftover connection on each side. We follow the rule to put connect the stick in a way that the knot will point to the short end. And there is an octahedron, collapsible in three variations, and balancing on each corner.
the smallest platonic solid you can build with the term integrity toolkit is the tetrahedron. And although, or probably because it has the smallest number of elements, it's the most difficult to build. However, we follow the same rules like in every other model. We start with a corner, which is in this case a triangular one. We have to build four triangular corner corners for the tetrahedron. The second step is a bit uncommon. We need to build a larger triangle. which has the seeds of the final three corners, but no corner by itself. And we follow the same rules. The knot of the stick that we connect in goes to the short end. Now we need to do a little bit of bending to connect real corner, the first triangle we built, with the top of the tetrahedron. Now there's three open connections left, and this will build our final three corners to complete the tetrahedron. It is possible to build the tetrahedron step by step, without the little trick of building a top and a bottom and connecting those, but it's much more complicated.